Are you a boring person? Do you consider yourself a introverted person? Would you rather talk to this plant rather than a human being? Hey, you're probably that one guy in that group project who does all the work but doesn't want to say anything despite being super angry and super tired from doing all the work because you just can't stand talking to people. Now, you may be wondering, what kind of job in the future can I do to continue to do all this? Yes, that means you're still boring. Yes, that means that you're going to be doing all the work. But can you really get paid to do all this? And the answer is yes. Welcome to the world of environmental engineering. So what makes an environmental engineer position good for introverts? Well, for starters, you get your own office desk. So this could be heaven for like introverts. You get your own little cubicle space at work. So personally, at my own work, I have like a 10 by 10 foot square office desk. I don't know what the true dimensions are, but I'll say it's pretty spacious. No one really has to bother me when I do my work. People may not know that you're actually in there doing work, or they might not even know that you're even there at the office because you have your door closed. If you ever wonder if you're there or not, just start typing really hard, start typing really loud, and the people will probably think that you're frantically working. And honestly, you can get away with that, at least for my work. So in the end, you get your own desk, and you get to do whatever you want, you get to decorate it however you want, and it's just yours. Now, the next thing on the list. You probably care more about the environment than you do about actual people. Now let's be honest here. People have drama. Plants, they don't. They don't gossip about people. They don't bring problems to you. They don't cause headaches. They don't have high expectations. They just sit there and do its thing. They're giving me oxygen of anything, so they're actually helping me. Right now, I don't even have to water them if I don't want to. And that's fine with them. They don't care. They might die, but they're not going to whine about it. They won't even talk back, so even if I mistreat them, they won't say anything. And so that's why I like them. They just do its thing. But people, for example, one day they're your friend, the next day they could be your worst enemy. So in the end, plants are cool. And that's the why being an environmental engineer is like the best thing for introverts. Is that you get to go out in the field. So you're stuck in your cubicle, working all day. Well, I mean, working. Frantically typing away your reports. I mean, you hear keyboard sounds all around the room. You hear the office calls from your next door neighbor and you just think to yourself, man, I gotta get away. I mean, as long as you're not like micromanaged by your manager or your boss, you get to just leave your office. So personally, at my own facility, I get to just leave the office and, you know, inspect the facility. No one has to really know where I'm going. I could just leave. Of course, I don't want to like take advantage of the system. So I do actually do some work. But in the end, I just walk around my facility and just like chill. And no one really questions what I do. Like, I can just walk out, they know that I'm a hard worker, they know I'm not going to sit in the bathroom for like two hours, they know I'll be walking around the facility. So, if I'm just walking around the facility, they're probably going to think that I'm doing work. If you really want to convince them, then you can just wear like one of those hard hats, those bright orange vests, bring a clipboard with you, and just say, hey, I got things to do. No one is going to question you. It's really up to you whether or not you really want to do work. And you don't have to sit through all those distractions in the office. If you can't get any work done, you just get to leave. So yeah, that's why going out in the field is relaxing. And when you go out in the field, you don't have to bring a friend with you. You could just leave by yourself, as you normally would anyway, as a boner. And so, what did we get out of all this? Environmental engineers, they're for loners. Get paid to be alone. I am alone, and I am indeed falling.